So the crystals that I'm going to name in this video actually did cause major change in my life. Crystals do have metaphysical properties that can change and affect your own energy. I definitely am somebody who considers themselves to be very sensitive to energy. These particular stones I'm going to mention in this video, I wanted to share those experiences with you, really put you in that time frame and talk about how it affected the trajectory. Hello my true lovers and friends and welcome to our channel. This is True and we have a website called True Awakening. If you want to learn more about us, make sure you check out the description. If you are new here, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are returning, hello! Welcome back. If you don't really believe in the metaphysics behind crystals and the properties that they carry, then also look at crystals as it's kind of, I believe everyone is psychic. That's my theory. Some people are just more in tune with their psychic abilities than others. Crystals are also a great way to help enhance those abilities. If you don't believe in the magic of crystals, you can think about it as we kind of intuitively know what's about to happen in our life and the stone itself is just kind of a representation of that next chapter or the struggle we're overcoming and so on and so forth. However you choose to see crystals is up to you. This is my experience, my personal experience, and I know not everybody will resonate with wanting to work with crystals or finding them helpful. So if that is not your thing, this is not your video, but if you're interested in hearing my experiences, keep watching. So yes, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a really popular stone that a lot of people are talking about right now, which is Moldavite. The story behind how I got this stone is actually really cool. I used to work in New York City. On Bleecker Street, there was this random crystal shop that opened up like out of the blue. This crystal shop was like very significant to my spiritual journey. I introduced this ex to this crystal store. I had made friends with the guy who worked there. And so he was always giving me really good deals on crystals and different supplies that I needed, candles and incense, sage, things like that. One day he went into this crystal store and like I said, I'm gonna give more follow-up information about this specific store and why this is so relevant to my spiritual journey. I think the guy remembered him or whatever. The earth element is super near and dear to my heart and really has helped me a lot on my spiritual journey. Okay, sorry, let me get back to the story. The guy remembers him, he remembers me, and he suggests that he gets the Moldavite. He got it for me as a gift and he didn't know what Moldavite was either. This metaphysical shop owner was really gunning for this moldavite ring i remember that he told my ex the stone was a piece of a meteor that had crash landed on earth apparently and a lot of people have used it in different amulets it's really great for spiritual evolution keyword rapid <laughs> transformation so you see a lot of people on here saying be careful with moldavite which i can attest to definitely opens up your emotional body induces a lot of really powerful spiritual awakenings if you're not ready to be on your highest path aligned with your higher self then do not go out and purchase the stone you really do have to be ready for what comes along with knowing <laughs> and having this greater understanding i end up losing this ring i was evolving really quickly and having a lot of really big realizations and these realizations were pointing me towards this really big change that i kind of knew was already happening i remember calling my mom and telling my sister like i feel like i'm going to be moving soon and a year later i ended up moving when i got to move i had predicted it a year before and i do attribute this to the ring because it kind of sped up my spiritual knowledge and assisted me in getting where i needed to be the sun is messing up my video. i lost the ring and i had been looking for it for so long and i could not find this ring and i remember sitting it on my table and it was missing and i just could not find it my sister ends up telling me that she actually broke the ring <laughs> She was afraid to tell me. My sister and I, we had a lot of trauma around breaking things or making mistakes. At this time, I totally understood why she was hiding from me that she broke the ring. And I was not upset actually. When she told me that she had it, I was just so happy to have it back because I knew how special the Moldavite 
was to me. The band, so like, you know those rings that are adjustable? It like became an adjustable ring, basically. I totally read into everything. I think everything's a sign. So the fact that the band was broken was a huge sign for me. I might have found the ring after me and that person broke up. More things began to change and now my life is completely different. This brings me to the next step that I got from this same mysterious crystal shop with this mysterious owner who I became friends with. It was Kitty Corner from the By Chloe's on Leaker Street. I got this black obsidian. It's my baby. I don't go a lot of places without it. It's always nearby. So I went and got my aura photo done at Magic Jewelry in Chinatown. When you get someone with an indigo aura, my fellow indigos out there, we are in the clouds. <laughs> my stones really ground me and this is one stone that really has changed my life. I, like I said, don't go many places without it. She suggested that I get an obsidian to help me sleep at night. I was just having such vivid images, sleeping so light. I couldn't fully go into a deep sleep, but also I commune with like my ancestors, I commune with my guides. So I feel like a lot of times I was getting so much information that I couldn't sleep. <laughs> like I wasn't getting deep rest. And so that was one thing that the woman suggested. Black Obsidian is for purification, transformation, fulfillment of certain goals or dreams because it's removing any negativity. It helps with metamorphosis, manifestation, and getting really practical with how to go about pursuing those manifestations. And so like I said, if you have a purple aura, if you are indigo child or starseed, and you are extremely psychic, um, and you have psychic gifts. I realized that that wasn't normal. This stone really changed the game for me. It allowed me to continue to have those astral travels, and lucid dreams, and conversations with my higher beings that protect and guide me, but also grounded me enough that I'm getting well rested so I can also have a great 3D experience. Back to this crystal store. Ended up closing down. It was only there for like, I want to say it couldn't have been more than three months. And I think that I was like one of the few people. And this is a busy street. This is gonna sound crazy, but it, this is just how it felt to me in my experience. And maybe several other people, who, if you guys also stopped in this store, you might resonate with this story. But um, I felt like it was there during that specific time that I just so happened to be working next door and passing it all the time. And I was able to get significant stones that really changed the game for me. And it just felt like as soon as they closed down, I was already about to quit that job and move on to my next phase. So I don't know, it felt super, um, it felt so in alignment with me. And like I said, me getting to know the guy and he was always giving me discounts and deals and then he just dips. The next one I'm gonna talk about is one that I actually got offline. I think I'm saying this right, Unikite. Unikite, great for rebirthing yourself. Heal like childhood trauma and family dynamics, address and heal past life drama, trauma and dynamics. If Moldavite speeds up your spiritual transformation, Unikite actually removes blockages to getting to your goals, I would say. Inspires you to want to enjoy healthy relationships. It helps you commit to not only your goals and your aspirations, but your internal wellness and growth as well. The backstory about me seeking this stone out was that I was having a spiritual awakening around love and relationships. And like I said, I had just gotten out of a relationship. It was me committing to myself that I was going to work through all my childhood trauma, face all those things so I could transmute it and I could attract a really solid and stable partner, but also friendships and like I said, just be so stable within myself so that I could have the life that I always wanted. Really great protection stone. It's great for children. So make sure you look into information about that if you're looking to have children or you have a child. I'm not done with that stone, I still have it. Those intentions that I set when I bought that maybe two or three years ago, I have completely obliterated. This story isn't really mine to tell, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. The next one that I'm gonna talk about is rose quartz. And everybody knows rose quartz. It's a great beginner stone. I'm not gonna say who I bought this stone for, but I bought this stone for someone and I turned it into a necklace. Not only do they have a heart condition, but just has been a <laughs> cold hearted person <laughs> to be quite blunt, tough, rough person. Not to discount their experience because I totally get it. I acknowledge 
why I've definitely been through a lot of things where I'm in and out of feeling like I'm living out of my heart space and not. I think we all go through that. No judgment. I just knew that Rose Quartz was going to really change a lot of things in this person's perspective. And because the chain hung right above this person's heart, they began to soften during the time that they wore it. It increases self-love, but it also helps you fall in love with your outer surroundings. You can use it to uh, increase your beauty. You can use it in beauty rituals. There's a lot of different ways you can use rose quartz. So that's just something I always lean towards when I see someone especially falling into a depression. It's also good for working through mother issues and things like that. So I'll keep that one short and sweet. If you know me, you know that giving crystals as gifts, it's like, I don't care what your love language is, you're getting a crystal. I will pick out stones that would best benefit you and your goals. And you can also just tell me what you're looking to improve on. If you want to check that out, that service is here. The information will be in the description. Jasper is like one of my, another favorite that I'm not gonna go into too much depth here, but specifically the African Jasper is connected to the heart chakra as well. And this person was in a very severely depressed state. The stone's intention is to bring more positivity to your life. And within the day, that person's attitude had changed drastically. They had no clue what the stone meant. They became more positive, more optimistic, more willing to take action in life, wanting to create. Green Jasper is really good for investing money. And this person <laughs> came up with all these business ideas that they were showing us and they're like, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. And we're just like, yeah, like go ahead, like go you. Those who are really sensitive to these types of things, whether you know what the crystal does for you or not, you can see a change. Not all stones work like that. Not everyone is gonna believe in this sort of thing. That's okay. Maybe we just happen to be aligned with what that stone means. Not that it's really affecting us, but it's just symbolic of where we are in that moment. And I'm totally cool with that idea as well. There's so many more that I could talk about. We'll catch up with you guys in the next video. I really hope that you liked this one. Check out the description for any other information. Have a good day. Stay true, lovers and friends. Bye.